Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of the Human Experience Challenge. And we pick up mere seconds after we left off. In the last episode, Amara beat Mother, and she came back to her apartment in San Maishino. Alicia here has been looking after the apartment, so um, Don is now living with them, and Amara and Caleb are an item. They're dating, but they are not, um, they're just dating. They're boyfriend and girlfriend. So this week, I thought, well, you know, we need to go back to, get back to the challenge, because the little adventure in Strangeville, that was just a, a sidetrack, a side note in the human experience challenge. But now she's, now Amara's back in San Maishino, and we need to get back to basics and get back to the challenge. So one of the parts of the challenge is that, you know, Amara needs to get to know um, the sim, sim race well. So what we are going to do is that we'll concentrate on Amara and Caleb and see if we can get them married. I don't know if they're going to elope or if we're going to have friends come over, although they don't know that many people. I mean, Amara knows... Who does she know? Well, she knows quite a lot of people, actually. But how many people actually turn up is another question. But um, we won't jump the gun or anything. Let's see what we can get them to do. Okay, it's early on Sunday morning. Amara needs... Her fun needs to come up. Caleb, why are you... Oh, he wants to go and feed. All right, we, do we have a computer? Is there one in... I think we can afford to buy a computer now. Uh, okay, can't sell that. That's strange. I don't know why it won't let me sell it. And I think, really and truly, we need to find a new house. Because this place is just icky. But the mice, they're, they're not going to like it very much. But why did I come into build mode? I cannot remember. Computer. We need a computer. Where are we going to put the computer? In the guest room? I think we can put it in Amara and Caleb's room. I think a small desk would do fine. And we need a chair to go with it. That's fine. A nice bright red chair. Although that chair looks like it's seen better days. And we need a computer. Let's give them a laptop. Red laptop so we can see it. And can... Right. Then we can put their gold date, date reward on there. And that gives off a flirty, a romantic aura, so, you know, that will help a lot. Right, so we've got a computer. Caleb, go order some plasma packs. Let's order 10. Can you? No, you can't write the number in there. You have to keep clicking. That should keep you happy for a while. Although he's going for... Oh, no, he's clearing out the old food. I was just about to say, he's going for food. Why is he going for food? He can't eat. All right, Amara, you just... You're... Yeah come. Amara does not own this. Oh, because she's not in the military anymore. Oh, man. Well, that's a shame. Right, let's put it back in the inventory then. It's a pity you can't... Oh, I didn't, didn't think that would happen. So wait a minute, if she doesn't own the item anymore, but she's in the military, why does she not own it? That doesn't make any sense. But I think we're going to change your career once again. But I want to do one of the new freelance careers. So we're going to do that instead uh career quit job and career find a job yes we want to quit freelancer and we what does she want to be a computer expert yes that will help with that would give her a skill to learn okay so select a gig oh check for gigs uh hide my data encrypting client documents encrypting private data let's try hide my data during by wednesday chat with the client client and then can encrypt files okay so do we chat freelancer chat with quark quark client why is that so hard to say and why she got bunny slippers i don't remember giving her bunny slippers okay so you're chatting um alicia we don't know you very well have we not got a sink oh we need to make it get a sink All right alicia are you talking to caleb who made that food Ah, uh, Amara made it. Five hours till it's spoiled. Well, after Amara's finished working. Air horn. Oh. So Alicia's doing prank day by herself. 
Oh, he's doing it by himself. So he's laughing. Is she laughing? Did she like it? Yes, because it's prank day. But at least um, you've already done something. I don't know what you did. And Caleb's very happy we've got a new sink. All right, what are you doing, Amara? You're going for the dumplings. Have you finished talking to the client? Yes, you have. So now we have to encrypt the files. Well, we have until Wednesday, so we're not doing that right now. Well, there's a flea market. We could go to the flea market. All right, you need to have a bath, have a shower as well. And then I think we'll all go to the flea market. Alicia, actually, you need to get a job because we have no freeloaders in this house. We want something that we don't have to join her. Um, let's make you a cook. Flea market, Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Shop for trash or treasures, find snow globes and posters, set up shop and trade your stuff. Let's see what we can find. What are they selling? What are these? Prehistoric hoof prints. Faucet of light. No. Oh, those look like... I was about to say they look like cute little robots. But we don't want those. Oh, they've got bubble machines. They look a bit like hooker pipes. How is this a flea market when everything's so expensive? Hasn't anybody left out stuff for trash? Uh, oh, look, there's something here. Look for snow globes. And actually, we'll get you doing something for prank day so then you won't be depressed. Because I really don't want to deal with you being depressed all day. Oh, Yuma Heights. Let's pick you. Who are you? Uh, oh, you're Dominic Fires. Okay. Share back prank day spirit. Let's do a couple of pranks on you. Um, mischief. Trick with hand buzzer. And you, lady. Let's do something with you. Mischief. Memory erase? I don't know. Let's do what's that spot. Are you going to do what's that spot? Who are you? Oh, you're, you're one of the hecking boys. Okay. These are the hecking boys are townies. Oh, we're not doing that, are we? Okay, let's... um. Do some more pranking. What's that spot? Okay, that's her sorted. Uh, you look like you're. Oh, you're just standing there. You've had a good day. And she's had a good day. Okay, and she's sleeping. Oh my god, what? Uh, what? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Buddy, what are you dressed in? <laughs> that is... That's one special outfit right there. Who are you? I'm probably going to butcher that. I'm not going to read it. But, yeah, that is one very special outfit. Okay. Okay, Amara, anyway, what are you going to do? You are going to order food. Are you hungry? No, you're just sleepy. Oh, you are hungry. Okay, uh, we need to work with you and Caleb. That's what we wanted to do. Go get some food. I mean, you can't flirt on an empty stomach. Brock Sawyer and Sawyer True. Do you think they planned that? What's that you've ordered? Pork adubo. I hope it's nice. I mean, you're eating it, but... Um, where is Caleb? What are you doing, Caleb? Caleb, come on over. No, he doesn't want to meet Lilith. Come on, sit down, Caleb. No, man, don't don't steal it, right? Okay, whatever that is, that was hot. All right, Caleb, you can talk to Amara. 
Oh, they have the... They have the option to... Woohoo! Somewhere. Where? That's interesting. And kiss neck. <laughs> Is that just a vampire thing? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not just a vampire thing. So if we tell them to woohoo someplace, where are they going to... Oh, isn't that not an option anymore? It is. But where? It's not. She's... Amara, where are you going? Are you going back? Oh, she's going to sleep on the... On the on the bench as you do okay I think that's a sign actually no you can go to sleep Caleb do you want to pick up anything from the flea market I mean you're supposed to be able to get some bargains but I'm not seeing any executive guest chair how much does that cost if we were going to buy it from Let's see guest executive guest chair that is here oh okay you can't get it unless oh well that might be worth it then that actually might be worth it uh Caleb Alright, well in that case, seeing that you can't get it any other way, you might as well buy it. What's that? Flegal Studio Floor Lamp. No, it's okay. And, well we don't need a computer chair because we just got that. Well, I think that's not too bad then. All right, Caleb, you can go home. Amara, you go home. And Alicia. Although I've spot her name wrong, so she's Alika. Alika. Okay, we'll pretend that's what it's supposed to be. Um, is the door locked? Lock door four. No. Why was everybody complaining? That's a bit strange. Alright, you want to go and watch TV. Let's put down the executive chair. Don, what are you doing? You look like you're not too sure, Don. And I'm not sure it's entirely hygienic to play with your food like that. Um, overheating, being hot due to temperature. But I thought you were hungry. You want to go and talk to Caleb. Surely you can eat and talk. And your prank day, we need to get your prank, we need to get your pranks up. Everyone else has had good prank days. Lie about career. And what else? Lucy, look, you look like you're stomping. Give fake bad news. Um, mischief, scare, and you can do something with Caleb. Mischief, live up bad plasma. Okay, you've had a good prank day. Right, you don't need to do anything else. What is with the stomping and the dancing? All right, Alicia, not Alicia, Amara. All right, you and Caleb, we need to get things going for you guys because I don't want them being sad for the next 24 hours because they failed at having prank day. Let's do some romantic stuff. Blow a kiss. And more choices kiss you don't want to try for baby not yet 
but we can woohoo. Oh, it's the first time. Oh, I've never done it. That's true. Break out the candles. Make it romantic. Oh, Caleb and Amara are woohooing for the first time. All right, they're both sleeping. And Caleb's happy, which is good. Oh, we should enable the emotional aura. I forgot about that. So that should make them flirty any time they come in here. Don, why are you just... Why are you always staring off into space? <laughs> Don, are you congratulating Caleb? That was a bit random. All right, Caleb, you... Yeah, you do work. Is there any... What? Oh, make five friends. Three out of five. Who's your three? Relationships. Did I just see known alien? Oh, he knows she's an alien. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. But he doesn't know what she does. He doesn't know any of her traits. Well, we need to remedy that. I thought you... I thought he knew stuff about her. Well, then does Amara know anything about Caleb? Yeah, she knows pretty much everything about him. She knows he's a young adult, he's a grandmaster, he's a foodie, he's materialistic and ambitious. Wow. Okay, well, Caleb, you need to ask a bit... You need to answer more questions. You definitely need to ask some more questions. But we're going to get you guys married before the end of the episode. Ask about career. Because, you know, you sh Oh, yeah, he doesn't... He wouldn't know about career because she's just changed it. But even so, you're supposed to know everything about your beloved. Is was it get to know each other? Get to know... Is there... Become best friends. That's always a good sign. Kiss hands. Because you can. Um... Is there a... No, where's get to know? Do we... Do we not have the option to get to know? There you go. Alright, she's found out that she's outgoing. You're going to... Okay. I guess. And now she's glowing pink because she's... I'm pretty sure she's very flirty as well. Okay. Don't. It's a trap. Don't go... Oh, he's bored from watching the movie. Yeah. Don, what's your stats like with Alicia? Uh, well, you know all about her. Which is good. Alright, back to Caleb and Amara, because, you know, they're the... <laughs> See, I like the little autonomous romance thing. <laughs> and Amara just decides I'm just going to sway to the beat. Sway seductively to the beat. Dance with Amara. Alright, do we have the option to propose? Um, are you still talking to Alicia? You're chatting to Alicia. I'm sure you're... I don't know if you're dancing together. You're dancing at the same time. But I don't know if that class is as dancing together. Uh, no, not... Help to fix bad relationship. Oh no, and propose. Let's see what happens, because we did propose before, didn't we? Yeah, we proposed before, and he turned it, he turned her down. Oh, and it wasn't as traumatic as last time. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, we. Are going to with let's let's just let's just do this and now she's glowing bright oh she's very focused <laughs> she's engaged and focused from being a genius she's glowing some kind of really weird color now not the computer i want you to get married to amara elope immediately Everyone else is awake. 
Let's do it. Don, come on over. Come and watch. Well, maybe you don't want to. Let's zoom in. They do look cute together, though. I have to admit. And it wouldn't be the Sims if they're not getting married in the kitchen. <laughs> that's pretty cool right so now they're married um, engaged just married deep connection new best friend so Amara I think you and Caleb well you need to show Caleb your true form and actually now I think about it you've never tr shown your true form to anybody else Right, so Caleb, you come and sit here, and Amara, you come here. Ah, remove disguise. Okay, so Caleb, that's what Amara really looks like. She is a blue-skinned, big-eyed alien. Caleb doesn't bat an eyelid, which is cool. He's just very happy. Actually, to be honest, nobody in the household bats an eyelid. It's a bit strange seeing Amara without her, her disguise now. It's really strange seeing her without her disguise. But no, Caleb's not worried. Alicia's not worried. Don hasn't even looked up from the computer. So, yeah, I think everybody is just cool with Amara being an alien. I suppose they're thinking, this is SimCity. Anything can happen. Disguise self. Right. And I think on that bombshell, we will end this episode. So we went to the flea market and Caleb and Amara got married. So I think one more time. Are you sleeping? Wake up, Amara. Let's try for a baby. <laughs> that always cracks me up. That little dance. And of course, we're not going to find out whether Amara's a pregnant or not until the next episode because I'm not going to send her for a pregnancy test. I think we'll just let things happen. Because I'm guessing that, you know, sim human pregnancy tests don't work on aliens so we'll have to we'll have to let nature take its course but of course if they're like any other sims the sims are usually pretty fertile so she probably is pregnant but we'll see anyway and that's it for this episode so thanks for watching and i will see you next time okay bye bye